Well, hello everybody. It's Monday. And yes, I have slept. The dog allowed us to sleep the past few nights, thank goodness. But the only problem is, you see how the door's kind of open? That's new. That's because the dog's in here with me. I'm the only one in the house right now. The kids are at school, the wife is at school. Not school, at work. <laughs> I, I still need some sleep. I still need some sleep. But the dog is running around here somewhere. Um, if she comes back in here, I'll show you, show her to you. Okay, so it's, I gotta shave. It's just a normal day. It's a normal Monday. Okay, so let's shave. What am I going to do today? I'm going to revisit the palm olive shaving stick. Because uh, I like the smell of this stuff. I haven't used it in a while. And I'm going to lather it up with the old West Coast shaving brush, the honeycomb one. I will have links to all these things down below. If you ever want to go back and, uh, except for like very few videos, I always put links to everything I use in the descriptions for the videos. Except for this, the aftershave. This is Osage Hammer. This is something I made myself. I mixed up some menthol crystals with the Osage rub and I kicked it up a few notches. In fact, let's take some of the Sterling Frost Drops and kick it up a little bit more. This is a home brew, if you will. It's not kombucha, so don't drink it. Put some more menthol in there, why not? You can hear some, there you see, told you the dog was here. She's out there, she's lonely. Yes, yes, I, we all hear you. Yeah, she's got, she's got socks to chew on, some old, old socks. I know I shouldn't, but I gotta do it for this video. All right, let's lather up. I took a shower, did my hair. I'm gonna put some, uh, put some hot water on my face. And I got the old Rockwell with a brand new feather blade in it. So, if you've never used a shaving stick before, here's how you do it. You take it and you just rub it on your whiskers until you see the soap come off of the stick and go onto your whiskers. You see that? I know. They all hear you. You want to be part of the video, I understand. She's licking my foot right now. Hopefully she'll... Uh... <laughs> I'm afraid if I bring her, if I hold up the dog, she will lick the uh, shaving cream off of my face. So there you go. See, that's all the soap there. It looks like I've aged 15 years and uh, I have, I have since we got this dog, I'll tell you. All right. So I'm going to lather up here and this is how a shaving stick works. It lathers up on your face, not in a bowl, not out of a can. It's great for traveling because then all you have to do is bring the solid shaving stick with you and the palm olive is great. I've tried the Arco, it stinks. I can't take it. Some people love it. Everybody's different. But the cool thing is it lathers up on your face and then at the same time, it loads up the brush. I know I'm preaching to the choir. All of, most of you that watch these things tend to know how to do this, but this is just for the benefit of people that don't, you know? Because we all have to start somewhere, right? All right, let's get the old Rockwell out with a fresh feather blade in it. Ah, and shave. Yeah, so I'm recovering from the lack of sleep for those. Actually, it was three nights in a row. Because the first night was New Year's Eve and we kind of stayed up late with the kids. But uh, the dog has been sleeping through the night and only waking up like twice. And then when we put her back in her little, her little crate, she doesn't make a peep, so... She's been making a peep today because it's the first day we've all gone back to work after the holidays. She's used to everyone being in the house. But I promise you this will not become the dog vlog. This is just today. We still got to figure this out. For the next one, I'm sure I'll keep her downstairs in her little play area. But uh, the traffic was back today. That's the great thing about the holidays. At least in the States or near where I live. The traffic is so light, like for two weeks. Everyone's like, doesn't have to work, there's no school in session, and the traffic is wonderful. But it was all back, like gangbusters this morning. Having to get the kids up early, get them ready for school, get them dressed, oh. And it's all on a Monday, come on. Couldn't they have done it like on a Wednesday or something so they, people only have to go back for half a week? I don't know, you know how that is. First world problem, certainly. I wonder what this dog would think if I put the shaving brush in her, in her little nose. You think she would prefer the smell of uh, Barbasol over other shaving creams? I don't know. I used to have a cat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, she, I, I mentioned cat. She said, don't talk about cats. 
I had a cat that, if I ever used like that Bengay sports cream, like if you were sore muscles, and she smelled it, she would freak out. I think I talked about this in a previous video. But... All right, there's the first pass. Here's the second pass. There's lots of shaving cream left over in the brush, which is so cool. And this is a synthetic brush, so it works really well. It's great for building lathers. In my opinion, it's better than a boar's hair, any of the, the different levels of uh, badger. And uh, it's cheaper because it's just synthetic, it's plastic. And I know our plastics are ruining our world, but also we wouldn't have our, most of the things we have right now if it weren't for plastic. So let's just, let's just find the happy medium. Can we do that? Can we do that, everybody? I think we can do that. We're smart enough, aren't we? Boy, I sure hope so. I sure hope so. You never know what the new year is gonna hold for our world. Right now there's some sabers being rattled. So we'll see how that turns out. Stick with me, won't you? I'll stick with you. We'll stand by each other. And go shaving into the new year. All right. I'm gonna go against, sideways against the grain. My chin is where I get always get my nicks. Do you guys have certain parts of your face that always get nicked no matter what? Or parts of your body for the ladies that watch this and you know, shave their legs with safety razors. I've got a couple of ladies that, that watch. And a bunch of people that watch that are just trying to learn how to, how to shave like this, you know? Instead of using a, an electric razor or a cartridge razor. Right, she says you're a cartridge razor. She's like, ugh. No thanks. No thanks. She's exploring. We got toys. This is where a crate is. We go to bed at night. The bedroom behind me. All right. Ah, that's so, it's so slick. This palm olive. That's what the box looks like, just in case. Classic with palm extract. So I think you can still get it. I think so. Another, uh, put some water up on my face. Let's go over the third, third pass. We'll just do a light pass. I don't feel the need to do a big, complete, smooth shave down to the, the tiniest micron of whisker. I'm just gonna kind of get it over. I gotta go back to work. Gotta go back to work. I was there this morning, gotta go back in a few minutes. Oh yeah. I remember how I do this. How do you do this? I do it like this. Ah, so smooth. Yeah, so this Paul Olive stick is fantastic. To me, it smells great. And here's what I'll say about it. It smells inoffensive, and that's a good thing. It smells like a clean soap that doesn't overpower anything. In fact, it, you know, once you, once you get it on, it doesn't, it's not forefront in your mind. What is forefront is how well it shaves, how well it lathers, and how slick it is, so that's nice. All right. Get back here. Just go real light. If you do a third pass, which I don't recommend to people that can't handle it, or if you get ingrown hairs. In fact, I might have a little spot right there. Might be an ingrown hair. I sometimes get that down there. Don't do it. But you'll know your limitations, you know. You'll figure it out. It takes some time to figure out. Figure out your face with me, your host, Sinatra Lennon. <laughs> Let's figure out our faces. <laughs> Episode three, figuring out our face. <laughs> I'm loopy. Give me some time, I'll even out. I'm sure. Once the meds kick in, I'm not on any meds. Thank goodness, I'm not, cross my fingers, I won't have to be on meds. For what, whatever it might be, high blood pressure, who knows. I need to go for a checkup. Men, if you're my age, almost 50, go get your checkups. Get everything you need to get checked. I know that we like to kind of take care of ourselves. We figure we can go to the store. Get some Tylenol and some Mucinex, maybe some ibuprofen, some Sudafed, and we're done, right? 
to a certain extent, but take care of yourself. I need to take better care of myself this year. So uh, once once life kind of like goes back to normal after the holidays and after this new dog and everything else, let's focus, focus on normalcy. <laughs> All right, cold water. Ah, cold water and then the Osage hammer, the ultra mentholated Osage hammer. Coming at you, cannonball. Cannonball coming at you. That's a Caddyshack reference. Yeah, I know. Every every guy in the Western world can quote Caddyshack endlessly. Maybe it's an American thing. I don't know. Osage Hammer in. I think actually I did. This did have kombucha in it. I tried some at the farmers market. It was fine. It was fine. I don't know. Not a big kombucha guy. All right. Oh, I can feel it tingling. Ooh. It's tingling already. Oh. Ooh, I forgot I put some, I put some cherry flavoring in here. Oh man, what was that? I can't remember now. I have to go back and watch my video. Ooh, whoa. See, I surprised myself. That's a little New Year's gift from past me. Thank you. So I forgot I put some cherry scent in. How did I do that? Guys, can you remind me? My, my memory is terrible. I, I mean it. Oh. I got a couple of little nicks here and there, but nothing too bad. Nothing to write home about. Nothing to cry about. I got to trim ear hair. Use a, use an electric razor if you got that. This is how I do it. If you got just like little, you know, hairs right there, just if you got an electric razor, just do this. It doesn't hurt. You can kind of get in there. Take care of it if you want to. I mean, I've seen some guys that have enormous gross of hair. That kind of gross to me, but you know, to each his own, I guess. There, see? That's what you can use an electric razor for. I always do this if I have a couple of little nicks and it kind of stops, like if they're very minor. You may have seen me do it before. Hey, come here, doggy. You want to get on the video? You guys want to see her? Come here. Cinnamon, you want to see? You want to say hi? Here she is. Hi, everybody. There she is. You want some Barbasol? You like that? No? Want to lick it? I'm not going to let her smell the real stuff. Anyway, so that's it, folks. Three passes with some good stuff and a little doggy. All right, everybody. I will see you on Friday if I don't see you sooner, but it probably will be on Friday. But thanks for joining me. Say goodbye, everybody. See you next time. And, uh, yeah, oh, you got a nice whiskers going. <laughs> All right. Puppy smell. Ah, love it. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you all very soon. Have a great week. Bye.